Hello everyone, this is a bit of a trial run, so I'm just going to enact this video to hopefully be good tuition and recap for everything that we covered last week and we'll go over again this week in the workshop. So I, you can see whenever I put my finger on my screen it leaves white marks so that you can hopefully see the movements I'm doing and I'll try and move slowly. You can see here from my account on Navionics, I've got markers all over the place. Um, I'll show you how you can leave those yourself. Uh, I tend to put anchorages, anchor symbols, wherever I've anchored in the past. The one all the way out here was trying to not go backwards in the fastnet in 2015, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, coming into the Solent here, as I zoom in, you start to see all the tidal detail as well. So if you want to go and select any of these kind of cans, at the moment they're red and dropping. Uh, red means it's accelerating at, in rate and blue means it's decelerating in rate. So these tidal symbols here will be decreasing and the red ones will be increasing. Okay, so if I want to go to Portsmouth, I'll just zoom in a little bit more. It's not showing me. There he is. There's the little... Oh, it's a bit cluttered as you can see, there we go. If I want to select that, it gives me Portsmouth. And I can just zoom forwards in time. And as I do change this, you'll notice that the actual water itself changes the charts, updating itself live to what I'm selecting. However, don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. As soon as I tap out of it, it goes back to chart datum. So it will never stay like that. Okay, so also with the currents, it's the same. So I've just got to place the crosshairs. Now, there's a slight difference. I'm on an Android at the moment. And so my crosshairs always stay in the middle. And that's the same with a phone as well. But if you're on an iPad, normally you have to tap somewhere on the screen for the crosshairs to appear. Okay. And so I can zoom forwards backwards in time for, to check that out. Also if I tap on the date at the bottom left I can then just select any date any time and it will tell me for that day as well which is very good for planning ahead. Okay I'll leave that there for now I'm just going to do lots of short videos I think is best.